Hey guys, I wanted to get you a quick update on things that have been going on with me and with the Ministry of Cold Christians. First, I promised you a care team video and I did record one, but let me tell you, it was horrible. Uh, I went back to the drawing board. I am rewriting that script so that it makes more sense and I'm not all over the place. I want it to be clear and understandable. I do expect that to be done this week. Thank you for your patience with me as I get that organized an update about Uganda. There seems to be some rebel activity in Uganda. Uh, there have been two bombings in the last two weeks. Authorities haven't said who or why yet, and no one has really claimed responsibility, but please pray for the people there. Their hard life gets a little bit harder, and especially for the families of the bombing victims, those killed or even injured. Thank you for praying for that. Also for the ministries in Uganda, which are up and running again, and people need Jesus. Thank you for praying for our brothers and sisters who are serving there. Just provision for those ministries to continue to reach people. Prisons, Danita, Igaluibi, Bugembe, Lamuli, the women's school on the campus, women's school in the village, hospitals, vehicles. There's so many ministries happening at calledchristians.org. For an update, I'll include a link to their webpage below. The time to get God's word out is now. Please pick your favorite ministry and pray for that ministry every day this week. And also a special prayer request from there. Um, there's a ministry leader who had a moral failure. Uh, we're praying for God to correct and restore him and just for his family who have just been greatly affected by this. Thank you for praying for them. I have started looking for a part-time job. Uh, nothing too physical, but if you've heard of something, uh, I really am looking forward to working, and I would love to start doing that soon. So if you know of any job leads, which are part-time, by part-time, I mean about 20 hours a week. I do have a history of office work, specifically bookkeeping, like payables, receivables, payroll, bank recs, things like that. So if anybody's heard of anything, I would appreciate that. Also, I have a couple of that I'd like to do before I leave. And I know that it's still a little ways off, but time could fly so quickly. It just, time is fleeting, right? So if I haven't seen you, I want to see you, and I am trying to get to see everyone again before I leave. Please reach out to me so we can spend some time together. Or if you want to, I joined a gym. We can go to the gym together. I joined it to find. Um, I'm still working on my recovery. I'm getting stronger every day. And this was the next step was getting joined to a gym. I uh, was there last night walking on a treadmill and I had to laugh because I, if you guys remember, I've been walking outside. And when I get tired walking outside, I just naturally slow down. But when you're in a gym on a treadmill, the machine doesn't slow down when you're tired. Uh, so it's a good workout for me and a good reminder uh, that I need to push myself physically if I'm to get stronger. So I'm working on that. Uh, so let me know if you want to go to the gym with me. Uh, a couple other things, uh, just prayer requests to keep you updated on. I just want to be sure and be thankful to God for the time that he has given me because I woke up breathing this morning and that still seems like a miracle to me. So I do know God has a plan and a purpose. So thank you, God, uh, for saving me, and thank you, everyone, for praying. <clears throat> Brad's brother, Mark, uh, has cancer. They found out not, not too long ago, and it seems to be advancing very quickly. So prayers for him and his wife and his kids. Um, it's a big adjustment for them, a little bit of a surprise. Tim's recovery is coming along pretty good, slow and steady. And prayers for his wife, Kim, and his kid, which is his caregiver, because it's a marathon, it's not a sprint, and both of them are tired. So prayers for their perseverance. And then just for me, um, preparation for going again, spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, um, a lot of logistics to take care of. So hopefully you will understand what that means after you watch the care team video. Thanks, guys. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.